On the 572nd day of the war in Ukraine, the fighting was concentrated in these areas. In the Zaporizhia front, fierce battles are taking place in the Robotine sector, with Russian forces launching counterattacks south of Robotine and west of Erbove, and Ukrainian forces storming and advancing inside the trenches of the main Russian defensive line. Geolocated footage shows that Russian forces attack the Ukrainian positions inside the forest southeast of Robotine. In this video, two Russian BMP infantry fighting vehicles approached and opened fire towards the Ukrainian positions, while two groups of Russian soldiers are seen getting out of the vehicles, trying to take positions nearby. The footage does not show how the operation of the Russian forces goes, but in their latest report the General Staff of the Armed Forces of Ukraine stated that all the Russian attacks south of Robotina were stopped. On the other hand, in the area between Robotina and Nova Prokopivka, the Ukrainian forces continue their efforts to clear the trenches and now only a small part of them remains under the Russian control. Ukrainian sources published footage of Ukrainian drone units using their drones to track and drop grenades over the Russian soldiers inside the trenches. Near Verbove, Russian soldiers organized another small-scale counterattack near the western outskirts of the town. In this video, a Russian BMP-3 infantry fighting vehicle is seen coming from the south and opening fire along the entire tree line in the vicinity of the main trench line, precisely in the area where an advance of the Ukrainian forces was reported yesterday. Near the trench, the Russian armored vehicle dropped a unit of Russian soldiers who started to enter the trench line in both directions. The fact that the Russian forces are attacking in this area confirms the reports on the advance of the Ukrainian forces near the western outskirts of Verbove. However, despite the Russian attacks, the latest reports based on geolocated footage show that Ukrainian forces continued to expand their control over the main trench line. Geolocated footage shows a considerable presence of Ukrainian soldiers inside the trenches, with Russian forces trying to hit the area with artillery and ATGM fire, however on the footage it seems that Ukrainian soldiers did manage to survive these strikes. On Bakhmut front, the Ukrainian forces continue their work to consolidate their control over the new achieved positions near Klishivka and Andrivka. The objective of the Ukrainian army is to clear the remaining Russian positions across the railway to the north of Klishivka. Ukrainian sources published footage showing the Ukrainian artillery targeting the Russian positions in this area using cluster munition. On the other hand, the Ukrainian forces are seen using a lot of kamikaze drones to target the Russian supply lines coming from the city of Bakhmut, worsening the situation of the Russian forces in this direction. In the direction of Andrivka, Ukrainian sources claim that Russian forces continue to have a presence in some positions along the railway east of the village. Today, it was reported that the Russian forces made another attempt to recover some of their positions northeast of Andrivka, but according to Ukrainian sources, all the attacks were stopped by the Ukrainian forces. Official Ukrainian sources provided some very interesting information about the Russian units operating in this sector. Ukrainians suggest that the Russian army may be preparing for a major counterattack in this front, aiming to recapture both Andrivka and Klishivka. Initially, Ukrainian sources confirmed the heavy losses of the two of the Russian brigades operating on this front. According to them, in addition to the high casualties suffered by the 72nd Motorized Brigade, the 31st Airborne Brigade also suffered heavy losses, with their commander Andrei Kondrashkin killed in action during the battles on this front. However, the Ukrainian sources suggest that the Russian command is still preparing to counterattack soon and has already deployed the 102nd Motorized Rifle Regiment near Klishivka as well as the 57th and 4th Motorized Rifle Brigades near Andrivka. Friends, if you like my daily updates, I kindly ask you to hit the like and subscribe buttons, as this will greatly help the channel to reach a wider audience. That's all for today's update, thank you to my Patreon supporters, and have a great day!